Planetary Hackers, welcome to this Link Whispers review video. I'm Gareth Breton, one of the founders of Authority Hacker. Uh, and before we get started, I'd like to remind you to hit the subscribe button if you are just finding us on YouTube because we have a lot more videos like this one coming up. If you want more info on this review, we are going to be putting a blog post together. So click on the card above if you want to read the blog post and see all the screenshots that we put together. But now let's get started with this video. Internal links are really important for SEO. They absolutely correlate with higher rankings. We've actually done a data study where we analyzed over a million internal links and found that they exactly correlated with pages ranking higher. So if you want to rank high on Google, you should have great internal linking on your website, especially internal links from pages that receive external links to pass a link juice around your website. The problem with internal links is there's no real automated way of doing it. The way I've been doing it so far was to use a site search on Google, site column plus my domain, and then type the keyword related to the blog post. And Google would give me a list of posts that would actually be relevant in this case to internal link in my post. And this works pretty well, but it's not perfect. Think about it for a second. Let's say you have a blog post on best SEO WordPress plugins. If I was using my method, I would be typing site column authority hacker WordPress plugins or SEO plugins. And I would get some recommendations from Google, but my article is not just about SEO plugins. It has a bunch of subtopics such as site speed, how Yoast messed up the rankings of millions of websites, schema, title tags, meta description, and all these things could have relevant internal links for the subsections of the review. And my tactic doesn't really cover that. So I'm going to be missing a lot of opportunities for internal links. And we know these are pretty important for ranking. So it is a bit of a loss for myself. And that's where Link Whisper enters the market. Link Whisper promises to harness the power of AI. I know it's super hypey. Uh, to find internal link opportunities for you. And they do that for $67 for one site per year, or $97 for three sites per year, or $147 for 10 sites. So I guess the question for this review is, does Link Whisper bring enough value to justify its price? And to try to answer that question, there's a few things I wanted to look into. The first one is how relevant are the internal link suggestions that Link Whisper makes? The second one is how clean is the code of the internal links? I have seen in the past a bunch of internal linking plugins using Ajax and JavaScript redirects and really messy stuff that is just not as good as a real link. So I'm really going to look for that. Third one is, does it work with page builders? A lot of people are using uh, Mentor, Thrive Architect, Oxygen as well. There's a bunch of them, Beaver and Divi. Does this work with it? And four, how many resources is it going to take? Is it going to slow down your website? Is it going to like load extra scripts when you load a page, etc.? I'm going to be looking into that as well. Now that we set the stage, let's jump into it. Once you install and activate Link Whisper with the key that they give you when you purchase the plugin, it's going to load an extra box at the bottom of the edit page of your post. If you use custom posts, you can also set it up there. You just need to trigger in the settings. This box will give you internal linking suggestion. You can limit it to the category of the post, which is really nice if you are building like self-contained silos and you have a really strict silo structure or you can just have it scan your entire site for suggestions. On the left of the table is going to give you a blob of the article with a portion of the text highlighted as a proposed internal link. This blob is often enough context, but sometimes I find myself opening the article because I wasn't exactly sure what the sentence was or what part of the article this was, which really was difficult for me to evaluate if the internal link was relevant or not. In that column, I also noticed that the anchor text were very long. I'd like to keep mine around three to four words maximum, but very often these were like half sentences are very, very long. And on the right of the column, they are going to give you the title and the URL of the pages that they think this link should be pointing to. And they also give you a list of alternative URLs in case you don't like the one that they propose to you, so you can pick from different ones. So in order to test the recommendations, I decided to take this blog post on Authority Hacker, which is a case study that has a decent amount of incoming links, and I ran it through Link Whisper to see what it would recommend we internal link to. I would then look at how many recommendations I retained to see how good it is. So it gave me 62 total suggestions, and out of these, I retained only 17, which is not bad in the end. 17 new internal links on the post that I have reviewed in the past, it's actually a lot of internal links, so I'm pretty happy with that. And I think that could be a big deal for our rankings. In terms of suggestions, many were quite irrelevant, which is annoying, but I'm not really mad. NLP, natural language processing, is just not that good these days. And if it was, computers and Google would be writing content. They would not need you. They would not need SEOs. And you would probably be out of a job watching computers just ranking all the keywords. So don't be mad either. It's not perfect, but still find some decent suggestion. The one thing that really annoyed me the most though is when there was a suggestion for an internal link 
and then it was proposing me a list of pages that I would not have linked to, but rather I would pick another page on the site that seemed more relevant, like in this case, our list of affiliate niches. This link would have made a lot of sense. Problem is Link Whisper does not let me input my own URL for the internal link. So if I want to add that internal link, I need to actually myself go in the article and do it the old school way as if I didn't have the plugin, which was really annoying. I just wish I had a little box here where I could input my own URL for that link. It would make things much easier and kind of make up for the local TNLP sometimes. Another thing that annoyed me with the suggestions is the way you edit the anchor text. So you can actually change the anchor text to some extent. I was complaining that it's a big long sometime. You can actually click the words and it will change the actual highlighted text, but it's very clumsy. It's not very consistent and it's really hard for you to select the right anchor text. And one thing I like to do when I do my internal linking is actually edit the text a little bit so that my anchor text reflects the keywords I want to rank for, which would give so much more power to this plugin. But I am absolutely unable to do that in the plugin. I have to just pick the text that is already in the text and I can't change it at all. I wish I could double click it and actually rewrite some of the text and put the right anchor text here. That would add so much value to the plugin for me. Anyway, once I was done with my selection and I kind of like tweaked my anchor text, etc., I clicked on the add links button and it just reloaded the page for me and added all the internal links just fine. I did it on Gutenberg, it worked fine. I did it on Elementor, it also worked fine. So I'm pretty confident that for the supported page builders, it's going to do a good job and you're not gonna have to worry about incompatibilities or something like that, which is a good job from developers, to be honest. Then after this was done, I went on the actual post and I opened the HTML of the links just to look at how they build these links. And again, it was actually good news here. These were complete normal HTML links. There was no crazy Ajax, there was no crazy JavaScript. The only thing that would distinguish these links from maybe a link you would build manually is a CSS class WPIL uh, internal link, which really is not a big deal. Google does not care about this. A lot of big sites have classes on their links, etc. It's not going to affect your rankings. So you don't have to worry. As far as I'm concerned, the internal links built by Link Whisper are just as good as the ones you build manually. And finally, I looked at the resource cost of the plugin. So what I did is I took one of my blog posts and I ran a GT metrics test before uh, and then I ran it after. And you can see there's Pretty much no difference actually the after one was faster for some reason i guess the server got a diet coke or something like that and got a little bit of a boost um, but overall it didn't seem to affect things then i went to query monitor to see if it's loading any extra scripts on your page loads i found a bunch of elemental stuff but i did not find anything to do with link whisper so it does not really seem to slow down your website maybe it uses some resources when it crawls your website for um, recommendations but that would be temporary and overall it does look pretty good on performances even though i'm sure someone could dig deeper in there so now that i've tried the very basic function of link whisper i guess the final question is is link whisper worth your time and worth your money and my answer is like maybe honestly despite all the frustrations that i listed in just five minutes i managed to add 17 internal links to a pretty important page on our site despite us paying pretty close attention to internal links and that kind of highlighted the potential value of the plugin to me i think that it can really add a lot of value on a big site if you don't have all the content in mind if you outsource content uploading if you're not paying attention to each page etc i think you can really give that to someone that has half a brain and essentially they will add a lot of internal links on your site and that will definitely help your site rank higher provided the internal links are not nonsensical which the plugin can definitely do but on the other hand the fact that i could not edit the anchor text myself and the fact that i could not add my own urls was extremely frustrating and that's something you're gonna have to deal with if you're using that tool i honestly think that this plugin could use a couple of updates and be an extremely useful SEO plugin. So it's really up to the developers to put a little bit more work in there, to give it a bit more flexibility, change the anchor texting, change the target URL thing. And overall, I would be quite happy to use that and give that to my team. So I guess I'm turning back to you now. Do you think this plugin is worth the money? Just tell me in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this content, don't forget to give it a thumb up, subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any of our podcast tutorials or reviews in the future. Until then, happy rankings.